Hey everyone, this is Dr. Combat 64 For all of you YouTubers, uh, I know that this may be different for my channel, but I'm going to be, uh, like I said, doing some collections of my own and some vinyl, you know, stuff that I personally own, albums, and maybe some reviews too. Um, today I want to personally talk about some of the CDs that I have. Um, these are going to be just albums. Uh, no greatest hits, no, you know, compilation albums, no live albums either. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. Uh, these are just uh, personally owned from my dad from the past, from I think, I don't know, the late 80s, early 90s. I think that's when particularly everyone got, have gotten a CD, you know, player from the late 80s. But today I have a stack of CDs, uh, just albums of CDs. So um, I'm not going to get into any personal details. Just looking at the CD, then the CD itself. Uh, first up we have Led Zeppelin IV on uh, Atlantic Records on CD. Uh, I'm not going to even tell you what year it even came out, so here it is. Um, so here's the CD itself. Very cool. This was always one of my favorite Zeppelin albums because it has Stairway to Heaven and of course uh, there's a whole bunch of songs on here that I definitely personally like. Next up, we have one of my personal favorite Billy Joel albums, The Stranger, off of uh, Columbia Records. Definitely one of my favorite albums for sure. I mean, every single song is perfect. Uh, so, here's the CD itself. Pretty cool with the mask. Great songs on here. Might do a possibly a review one of these days on that. So then we have one of my favorites. Uh, well, my dad's favorite. I don't know why I said my favorites, but this is one of my dad's personal favorite uh, artist, um, Manu De Bingo, and his uh, classic Soul Makosa um, album. He also has his own vinyl too. So pretty cool. I think this is. I don't know if it's a greatest hits, but I think this is the Soul Makosa. I think the album. So, um, there's the CD itself. Uh, of course, Dad loved my, uh, my father definitely loves Soul Makosa for sure. He grew up with that song, so. Next up, we have a very obscure disco singer named, uh, Tammy Stewart from her debut album. Um, I think her most, I don't know, Atlanta Get Down, some very obscured stuff. This is like some disco dance stuff from uh, 1976. Excuse me, Tommy Stewart. Sorry, not Tammy Stewart. Tommy Stewart. Here's the CD. The soundtrack to Roller Coaster. This was uh, one of my dad's favorite movies from the 70s. Very cool. Uh, the scores are very great and Feels like you're at an amusement park, you know. Uh, definitely one of the uh, good 70s movies, I should say. There's the CD itself. Very cool. Definitely love the music on here. Next up, we have Cream's first album, Fresh Cream, from 1966. Definitely one of my personal favorites is I Feel Free and uh, I'm So Glad and Spoonful for what I'm reading on the back here, but of course I already know, so. Um, from uh, Polydor Records. Very nice, very cool. So like I said, these are personally not the ones I, 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 I didn't buy these CDs, so uh, like I said, my father this is my personal father's collection of CDs, album CDs, I should say. Um, next up, um, one of these days I might probably do a review. I also have this on vinyl. Rumors, uh, Stranger, The Stranger and uh, Soul Makosa, we have on vinyl too. Rumors is uh, another we have on vinyl. Very good. Um, Warner Brother Records. Every song on here, personally, is probably one of my favorites on here. Duffy for sure. Very cool. 
Next up, one of the experimental albums of the Moody Blues since, you know, the 1965, you know, bluesy era, Days of Future Past. Definitely one of the very artsy, early progressive uh, albums for sure from the Moody Blues, from the uh, also uh, backing up as the London Festival Orchestra, Peter Knight. So very good stuff on here, uh, including the very end where you get, you know, the, let's see, so you get the Forever Afternoon, the Tuesday Afternoon, and of course the Nights of White Satin with the very cool, you know, poetical style of the end where you hear like the stuff going on in the background and the guy personally talking about his, you know, whatever, some monologue going on in the song. So, you know, towards the end of Nights in White Satin. Can't get this. Sorry, I can't get this closed. Anyways, from Dream Records, I'll put this aside, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, next up, not one of my favorites, but this was from our CD collection, the uh, soundtrack to Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Personally, this is not one of my favorite, definitely not the greatest prequel ever. This is probably one of the worst. But the beginning, was the, uh, the Revel at Naboo, definitely one of my favorites from this for sure. Uh, other than that, the music's okay. Like I said, personally, this was one of the bad prequel movies. So here's the CD itself. I think my father at the time, they've gotten this for Vincent, or it's Vincent, my brother. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Next up, uh... This is the 1969 uh, original motion picture soundtrack, starting uh, the very young uh, Mr. Tony Stark, well, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> uh, personally, there's a lot of good stuff on here. Time of the season, can't find my way home, wooden ships. Uh, you also get some of the oddball ones like Windows of the World. I don't know why that was placed on there in this uh, compilation. Apparently the song uh, Reach Out to the Darkness apparently was in the movie, but I guess it wasn't on this album. I mean, obviously it's not listed on here, so. In the movie, but I don't think it wasn't in, in the soundtrack. Oh, and uh, Polydor. Very cool. I have seen the movie. It's not that bad. Not one of the greatest, but okay. Then we get to one of my personal favorites, The Doors' first album. Uh, definitely, without a doubt, a masterpiece of an album for sure. This is the only, I think the only, I guess I know my dad later personally owned the, uh, the greatest hits, but personally this is our, the only Doors full album we have here on CD. So. And of course, uh, Lecture Records. I think this came out sometime in the early 90s, I believe. So, uh, very cool. Then we got the Allman Brothers Band. Yes, the uh, Idle Wide South, or Idle Wid South. Uh, this is their album from 1970. It has probably one of their best songs on this album in memory of Elizabeth Reed, uh, followed by Huchikuchi Man, Good stuff on here. Also on uh, Polydor Records. Looks like we got a lot of Polydor Records stuff on here. I do have uh, Brothers and Sisters on CD as well, so I'll show you that in a little bit when it comes up in my stacks here. Alrighty, Cream's second album, Disrail Gears. Probably one of their greatest for sure. Strange Brews and Chime of Your Love, obviously, Tales of uh, Brave Ulysses. Great album, definitely for sure at that point. And of course, Polydor Records. I do have Goodbye on vinyl, but I do not have Wheels of Fire, so that'd be kind of cool to get a you know, vinyl or a CD. Uh, next up, personally, I'm not really a fan of this artist here, <laughs> Isaac Hayes, but my dad adores this album and Isaac Hayes himself. 
I do respect him as a um, songwriter. He did do a couple of songs. Like he did uh, some good stuff that he wrote in the 60s, for sure. But uh, the only song I do kind of like from him is Shaft. But this is uh, his album Chocolate Chip from 1978. And obviously it has the song Chocolate Chip, which my dad likes and he thinks it's funny. <laughs> And here's the CD itself. Pretty interesting, it's like half of a cookie being eaten. So. From uh, Stax Records. So. Then we got Joe Jackson's uh, Look Sharp. We have a couple uh, of my personal vinyl collection. Some of his uh, albums like Jump and Jive, so. Uh, this was definitely one of the hit-or-miss albums for sure. Uh, I mean, I'm not really a big fan of Joe Jackson personally, but here's the album itself, the CD. I do like when he kind of went to his jazz phase, sort of, his like elevator phase, I guess, when he did uh, Stepping Out. So, so here you go. Speaking of brothers and sisters, where I was talking about before with the previous album, here it is. Uh, like I say, Ramblin' Man, Jessica, best songs off this album for sure. Off of the famous Polydor Records. There you go. Pretty cool. Good album. And we have the Cars debut album, which I have on CD, and my dad house also has a um, <laughs> on cassette too, so. Um, personally, one of my favorite albums. Every song is fantastic, for sure. I mean, absolutely. Here, from Electrical Records, pretty cool. Review this album one of these days, so. I'll show you the vinyl and the CD, you know, when I get to that, or, so. Vinyl and cassette, sorry, here's the CD, which I showed you, vinyl and cassette, when I do the review. Uh, next up is 52nd Street, Billy Joel. Uh, again, this is like a greatest, plays by a greatest hits. Definitely every single song is fantastic. Definitely for sure. Except for the second side is a hit or miss. Here's the CD itself. Nothing like, of course, The Stranger, but definitely, uh, personally, very, very good album for sure. At least with the first side. We have Boss Gag's famous Silk Degrees. Of course, Lido Shuffle and uh, Low Down was probably one of his good ones on here. Uh, followed by some other cool, upbeat, you know, toony songs by the great Boss Gags himself on uh, Columbia Records. There's a CD. I thought it was pretty fun, interesting, you know, album. Of course, you know, I would listen to this just to hear Lido Shuffle and you know, low down, but anyways. So we're getting close here. We have Red Octopus. I also own this on vinyl as well. So this is nice because it also has a couple of bonus tracks. Plus, you also get the single version of Miracles because I think the uh, I think the actual Miracles on this album itself is like seven minutes. So. And then last but not least, one of my favorite personal soundtracks, movies, a hit or miss, Godspell. We also have this on, uh, on vinyl, not this, but the Broadway. Not the movie soundtrack, but the Broadway soundtrack. But this is uh, Godspell, the original soundtrack from the movie, from the Broadway play. And of course, Arista Records. Very cool. And that is it. Those are pretty much all the album. No greatest hits, no none of that. Just albums and soundtracks whatever from movies and stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for my other videos that I might be posting for, you know, for some other stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys.